Hi guys, this is Mr. Pharma. Last year, we posted about clinical SAS. Where in that video, many of the viewers requested to post video on, on clinical data management and their scope, eligibility, salary, etc. So today, let us see what is clinical data management in detail. Welcome guys, this is Pharma Portal, the pharma you need to know, share and grow. Clinical data management. What is it and why is it required? Clinical data management is the handling of information that results from clinical trials and all aspects of processing study information are a part of clinical data management. In short, the clinical data management process involves handling the information and results obtained from clinical trials. The primary role of clinical data management is to produce and maintain high quality data from data entry through analysis. The result of clinical data management is a data set that is accurate, secure, reliable and ready for analysis at the end of a study that is captured in a standard format which complies with health agencies such as USFDA for their review and analysis. These standard formats will ensure the data submissions can be more easily tracked and reviewed. So what is the scope of clinical data management? Clinical data management team scope is pretty high as this team is responsible for collection and dissemination of data for clinical trials which will evaluate the safety and effectiveness of not just drugs, biologics but medical devices and in vitro diagnostics also. This means the scope is high, the job opportunities is high in all the three segments of pharma industry. That is why data is called as the new oil. The professionals in CDM are commonly responsible for making decisions related to collection of data and the tools that should be used. Data analysis is the new trend and has a high values with high salary. If you are interested in an IT career that has the potential to work directly in pharma industry, then this is the perfect choice that has high scope and good future with high salary. So what is the process in CDM? A CDM process begins even before the study protocol is finalized to ensure the integrity of data. There are 8 stages of clinical data management cycle. 1. Setup. 2. Collect. 3. Assure. 4. Identify. 5. Preserve. 6. Integrate. 7. Analyze. 8. Lock. The process of clinical data management is as follows, where the first stage is the case report form creation. A case report form is designed and defined by the CDM team. Case report forms may be used to collect data by the paper or electronic means and currently electronic data collection is preferred and mostly used as they are time saving and easy for tracking purpose. Second stage is the database designing where the finalization and setting of the clinical software application is done as per regulatory compliance. The third stage is the data collection where the filing up of CRFs are done as per guideline. The fourth stage is data entry. This stage helps in getting a cleaner database. The fifth stage is the data validation where the data validation is done as per the protocol. The sixth stage is the discrepancy management where irregular data, range checks and deviation from the protocol are identified and rectified. The seventh stage is the medical coding. It helps in identifying and classifying the medical terminologies associated with the clinical trials. The eighth stage is the database lock. The database will be locked in this stage and sent for analysis after a proper quality check and this will assure that the final data validation has no discrepancy. Now let us see what are the tools used in CDM. Many software tools are available for data management and these tools when they are used in clinical data management is called clinical data management systems or clinical trial management systems. Commonly used CDM tools are Oracle Clinical, ClinTrial, Macro, Rave and eClinical Suite. The cost of these software is are pretty high and in order for them to function, a structured IT infrastructures are required. There are also open source tools. The most common ones are OpenClinica, OpenCDMS, TrialDB and Fosco. The open source software can be downloaded for free from the websites of their respective company. What are the roles and responsibilities of CDM team? CDM team requires a variety of roles and responsibilities for their team members. Clinical data analysts design the case report form and prepare the CRF completion instructions, also referred as CRF completion guideline. The second role is the clinical data associate who tracks the receipt of CRF pages and enters data into database. The third role is the clinical data coordinator who designs the CRF and prepares the filing instructions, develop the discrepancy protocols. 
The fourth role is the database programmer or database designer who creates the study of database, annotates the CRF, etc. The fifth role is the clinical data manager who supervises the CDM process and leads the clinical data management team. The fifth role is the clinical quality auditor, also called as quality control associate, who checks the accuracy of data entry and performs data audits. The seventh role is the medical coder who codes variations such as adverse events and medical history. The eighth role is the biostatisticians who conduct the statistical analysis of study data. The ninth role is the medical writer who prepares the study reports. Some of the roles and responsibilities mentioned here may vary company to company. What is the eligibility and the requirements to work in CDM department? A minimum bachelor's degree in life sciences such as B.Sc. Nursing or like B.Sc. Microbiology is required. Other educational degrees such as B.Sc. Computer Science, B.Tech, B.E., B.D.S. are also eligible. But the most preferred educational qualification is B.Farm, M.Farm or D. In order to enter into CDM team, you need to have a good mathematics skills and data analysis knowledge. And you should be aware of clinical terms and functions. You should have a good understanding in GMP and CDM guidelines. Also some part of health authority guidelines. You should have a good advanced Excel skills and you should have a good database and basic tool handling skills or at least you should have a little idea about the tool. And more importantly, you should know problem solving skills. So is there colleges and universities that teach CDM? Yes, of course, there are some colleges and universities that teach CDM. So Arizona State University is one of them which teach clinical research management as an MS. There is another university, the George Washington University of School of Medicine and Health Sciences, which is also located in the US that teach clinical and translation research. There are some institutes in India such as ICRI Bangalore, which teach BSc clinical research and healthcare management. And there are institutes such as Minds, which gives us a PG diploma in clinical research another institute such as National Institute of Management and Research Studies which also provides PG diploma in clinical research. There are so many educational institutes that provide clinical research as a diploma and degree course. Use Siksha website to filter out the best institutes that suit and match your requirement. Now let us discuss an important topic, the average salary in CDM. A fresher gets a salary ranging between 3.5 lakhs to 4.5 lakhs. The average annual salary is around 5 lakhs in India for 1 to 2 years of experience in CDM. The estimated take home salary would be ranging from 35k to 45k per month. As per the recent data, a 10 years experience gets around 14 lakhs to 19 lakhs per annum depending on the various skills and expertise. There are huge scopes and high salaries in countries such as USA, Germany, etc. In general, a clinical data manager in US earns between 52,950 to 1,65,230 US dollars on an annual basis depending on their experience and talent. The field is projected to grow by 15% from 2020 to 2030. There are so many top companies that offer CDM jobs such as TCS, Cognizant, Novartis, Accenture, Paraxel, IKEA, Sineos, Pfizer, Nova Nordisk, Lack of Drug Development, Covance, Icon, PRA, PPD, MedPace, etc. You can find these jobs in LinkedIn and Nokri. Wishing you a good luck for finding a job in CDM. Hope you like this video. Encourage us by hitting the like button. If you have any questions, post it in the comments and share this video to your friends and family. Most importantly, subscribe and press the bell icon for regular notifications from our Pharma Portal channel. Bye.